Hey, Summit members. Um, today I wanted to share with you um, some tips for taking wildlife photos. Here are my top five tips. Um, taking advantage of the light. That is, um, that seems very crucial and helpful. Uh, especially if you don't have a lot of experience. So try to shoot in the very early or the very late times of day to take advantage of those optimum golden light times. Tip number two, um, use negative space to your advantage. So setting up the scene so that there is um, as much of a blank canvas behind you as possible. So a good example would be a gazelle um, against a field of grass or a polar bear against snow. So setting up a shot where your subject is um, inherently against, um, you know, one color screen in the background. That seems to be helpful. So using negative space to your advantage. Tip number three, um, changing your aperture settings to blur the background um, can make, can bring your subject into more intentional focus. Um, so that's a great, uh, I've definitely learned how to do that with my mirrorless camera and that's definitely been effective for me. So changing your aperture set, uh, settings to slightly blur the background. Tip number four, um, don't be afraid to um, turn up your ISO setting to compensate for low light conditions and especially fast moving subjects. Um, some people might be a little bit timid about turning up their ISO settings because it does increase noise. But I assure you, if you're shooting in low light conditions or if you have a fast moving subject, it's uh, definitely a great tip. Tip number five, be patient. I feel like this is the hardest and most important tip of all because shooting good wildlife photos requires relying on not just your skills, but also the animal's movement and their positioning, which are things that are out of your control. So patience is key. Uh, a quick recap of the five tips I have for you for taking excellent wildlife photos. Um, shoot very early in the morning or very late in the day to take advantage of those golden light times. Um, use negative space to your advantage. So set up shots where your animal is against uh, a blank canvas per se. Uh, you change your aperture settings to slightly blur the background, which can compensate for low light conditions and fast moving subjects. And finally, be patient. <laughs> Wait for the right shot, and I assure you, you will be taking awesome wildlife photos in no time. Thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to hiking and backpacking, I just wanted to recommend that you check out our Adventure Academy Summit, where you'll find everything you need to know to learn how to become a safe and confident hiker. In Summit, we have tons of video courses, eBooks, and downloadable cheat sheets. We also do weekly live webinars where you can get any questions that you might have on a variety of subjects answered in real time. Summit also comes with a really convenient mobile app which includes sort of a mini Facebook for all of its members uh, built into the platform. So you can connect with other adventure junkies in your area um, at your convenience. It's really cool. Um, if you want to give it a chance, um, check it out and go to the adventurejunkies.com forward slash academy or click the link in the description below. I look forward to seeing you in Summit.